King Solomon was wise and powerful and then became self-centered and egotistical. In a recent podcast, we looked at his writings in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. He seems to be proclaiming a measure of futility as he expresses that everything in life has an appointed time and season. Let's consider another approach. In verses 16 and 17, he reveals that wickedness is rampant in its dominance of righteousness, but that God is going to judge both. This adds clear responsibility to our actions and assures us of God's awareness. Solomon is saying that in spite of the world's self-destructive actions, it's all within God's power and permission. What if we now reviewed Solomon's words with the conclusion that God has everything in his ultimate control instead of our own time perspective. We naturally see things like killing, hatred, weeping, and mourning, and become exasperated and even hopeless. But there's a better way. Click the link in the description to hear our recent podcast episode, Why Does Time Matter in God's Plan? We break down each comparison that Solomon makes and put them all into the context of God's timing and plan. What we find is a coherent story being told based on God's time clock. Death, dismay, and destruction all look different through the eyes of eternity. Thanks for watching another CQ Moment That Matter. Click below to subscribe and get updates on new videos.